Away from that story now, a cross-section of lawyers during plenary at the House of Representatives Chamber in Abuja on January the 29th, 2020, says a bill seeking to extend immunity to cover presiding officers of legislative institution has killed second reading in the House of Representatives. The bill, which was sponsored by Representative Odebumi Ode Olushagun, was supported by the majority of the lawmakers who say it is important to safeguard the sanctity of the National Assembly. In supporting the bill, Majority Leader Ado Dogua said, and I quote, it should be passed for the simple reason that it provides protection for leaders of the legislature considering the important work of the legislature. However, the House Minority Leader Ndudi Elumelu asked the lawmakers to place the interest of their constituents above personal interest. Some of the lawmakers who opposed the bill argued that it was coming at a time when there are calls for the withdrawal of immunity from the governors. The lawmakers said there is no need for such a law, especially considering the spate of insecurity in the country. If the bill eventually becomes a law, it will therefore translate into an act to alter the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as immunity covers the president, the vice president, governors and their deputies.